What is going on guys? We are right back here for episode number three of Face of the Franchise. And in today's episode, what we are going to be doing is we are going to be finishing off our junior year of college at least and getting um, some of the games out of the way along with possibly even more. Let's get right into it. AT&T Stadium on this beautiful Saturday in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. The top travel destination this week for alumni of these two story football. We've been rotating the whole season. It only let us play one regular season college game. But I guess we've been rotating the whole season. And all of a sudden, I guess we're now in the college football playoff semifinals. In just, I believe, our junior year. A chance to get to the college playoff finals, which would be incredible. But we'll see what happens here as the return goes for 28. So we are definitely starting for this semifinal game against Texas. And yeah, I, I really hope that it's a good one. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, if we can just get to the final, make sure that Tommy, you know, doesn't play and everything, we're all good. Um, but either way, first and 10, going to hand it off to our man, Jewel. And it's about three. So second and six now, I'm looking to pass it here for our first pass in a ever uh, playoff game for college. And our first pass is a completion to Walker. And here goes the man, Walker, up to the 45-yard line of the Texas Territory. I really am hoping that these games are easier than the two high school games and the other college game. But we'll end up seeing what happens here. Uh, first and ten, I'm going to hand it off to Jewel and a couple. So second and eight now. I'm going to look for something open. I'm look for my man streaking. It's Simpson. Simpson has got it. Touch down Clemson. And just like that, we are off to a brilliant start. And we are up 7-0. That's what I'm talking about. So our defense did really well against Texas. Um, you know, gave them no points. And now we have the ball right back here. First and 10. Going to hand it off to Henry. And look at the man Henry go. Henry all the way up to the 30-yard line. First and 10 here. We're going to hand it off once again to Henry. And Henry is going to get uh, not as much as last time. Second and 7 now. Going to hand it off to Jewel. And Jewel will get a couple. Okay, we've been handing it off a lot. So let's try to get something here. Before the uh, third quarter ends, I'm looking for someone. Across the middle, we have our man Whiteside. And that is a brilliant way to end the first quarter. So first and ten now to start the second quarter here. Gonna look, finding our man Miller. And Miller up to the 23-yard line of the Texas Territory. First and ten. I'm gonna put my man in motion. But I'm gonna hand it off to Jewel, and Jewel will get a good amount, six. Second and four now, hoping to get a first down here. Gonna hand it off once again to Jewel, and another first down. First and goal now, I've been handing it off a lot, so let's change it up here. Let's get some uh, stats for ourselves here. First and goal, looking, trying to fit it right in for Whiteside. Touch, down, Clemson, and it's another touchdown. That's exactly what we are talking about around here and it is 14 to nothing let's go so once again our defense does excellent i mean our coach did say this is a defensive first team and so far they're showing it but yeah we're gonna hand it off once again to jewels who's gonna get about seven second and four now gonna once again hand it off to jewel and it's just another first down. Okay, at this point, it's kind of too easy. And I just want this game to be over with because it's just too easy. And I know I'm going to win. So I'll actually see you guys um, later in the game when, yeah, we're dominating. Because I'm just going to be time wasting at this point. So we do get to halftime here. And we do lead 14 to nothing. Good half. But we got to make sure that we hold on for the second half. So Texas does go down and score and actually make it a 14 to 7 game. So that means on this drive, our goal is to make it a 21 to 7 game and hopefully um, retake that 14 point lead as we start nicely here with Miller. So now first and 10, you're going to hand it off to Henry. Here goes Henry getting around people and he gets close to another first down. First and 10 now, just going to hand it off again to keep making go that clock and Henry a first down, of course. First and ten now. Gonna hand it off once again to my man Henry. And that time he kind of gets stuck. Second and ten. Looking to pass it here. I'm looking for someone. I don't really have anybody. I'm gonna escape myself. Juking. Getting some hits. And I get about seven. Third and three now. Gotta pick up this first down. And we're gonna do it ourselves as we escape. And we slide to be safe. 
First and ten now. Just want to keep on making that clock go lower. And we find our man Simpson for about nine. Second and one now at three and a half minutes. Just going to keep going at this clock. And Henry, though, does get stuck there. So I guess Henry did not get stopped in the last play. He actually did get a first down. It's going to hand it off to him again here on first and goal. And that time he actually did get stuck. Second and goal now. Just trying to melt this clock away. We're going to hand it off once again to our man Henry. And that time he only got one yard. So huge third and goal here. Hopefully we can make this um, to extend the lead to two touchdowns. But if we can, I guess it's not the end of the world. We have pressure in our face. And we do get the touchdown. A perfect throw from us to find our man Miller. And it's another touchdown. It's been a long time, but I've been melting the clock away this whole time because it is kind of an easy difficulty. But either way, we're leading 21-7. So it looks as if Texas must have went for it on fourth and goal or something and lost the ball at the end because now they didn't score and we have it here with just a few seconds left and we're just going to wind it down here with a few more runs well clemson didn't score on the last drive so no chance for them eight seconds to go last play of the game just going to hand it off to our man henry who we've been doing it a lot to today and that will end the game after some seconds eventually go down and that is it we are on to the college football national championship after beating texas 21 7 and our draft stock is also trending up which is what i like to see because our ultimate goal it is the nfl and we do really well here by getting a win you all right i'll be fine i was you last week i know exactly what you're going through you didn't have to sit through this championship game, though. No, but I did sit out our first state title game. It wasn't easy to do. For all I know, this could be my only shot at it. Then I guess we'll just have to do this all over again next season, huh? Good luck out there tonight. Thanks. Did we just get benched for the College Football National Championship? I think we just got benched, despite us winning the semifinal and carrying our team. I am upset. I would break the whole locker room. Rained on your parade, little Miss Sunshine. I am not in the mood for this right now. It's because you're not playing, I take it. Like I haven't had a bad enough day already. Now I have to deal with you. I know you upset. That dude Tommy's your brother. And brothers should always have each other's backs. And wipe that sour puss look off your face. It's game time. Wait, are we playing or not? I don't think we are, which is very unfortunate. We crown a champion tonight here at Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. So here we are. It is Clemson versus the Oregon Ducks. And it is the national championship in our junior year. That's amazing to be able to play in a national championship in a junior year. But here we are at halftime, and then we're, since we're benched, Matthews is playing. But there's a problem. Yeah, I just... Tom. You all right, Tommy? We need some help over here! Hurry! He looks in a lot of pain. You got my back, right? Of course. Always. Then go out there and finish this thing. <clears throat> One shot. That's all any of us ever really gets. Why did my whole life my one shot at being a head coach? And here I am. This is your one shot to go out there and show the world who you are. You're the guy who's gonna lead this team to victory. Are you gonna be remembered as the guy who got caught up in the moment and let it all slip away? I know you're worried about Tommy. Sure we all are. But this is your one moment. Get after it, son. Get some. Now the pressure perhaps getting to this young quarter. So as we can see here, basically we won the semifinal, but we somehow got benched for the final. And Tommy played, but as we know, his heart injury has now taken him out of the game. And we're down now, and we have to lead this Clemson team to a victory in the national championship in just our junior year in college. 
So first and ten now, I really want to start off strong on this drive to try to get some more points. We only put up three in the first half, and we're already starting well with Miller here all the way up to the 49. First and ten now, going to try to hand it off here and going to Jewel. Jewel trying to make someone miss, and not that great there. Okay, the funny thing is I actually got seven yards on that last play, yet I said that's not good. It's just because I'm used to such big explosive plays, because this college level is just so much different than playing in the NFL, and it's pretty easy. But... If it's easy, we gotta get a touchdown here. I'm looking for someone, and I have my man wide open is Walker. He's up to the 30, tries to put a spin move. That didn't work too well, but still, 23 yards. So far doing really well on this drive here. Gonna hand it off to Jewel here on first down, and Jewel will get a couple. Second and eight now, I'm looking for something here, something possibly big. I'm waiting a long time, but I have my man Simpson. What a catch by him, and inside the five we are. They're currently in the zone right now, and I'm actually going to be pulling a read option here. Let's see what happens. I'm going to keep it with Henry, and Henry is through to the touchdown. That is a touchdown for the Clemson Tigers. And just like that, we have taken the lead, already have scored more points than Tommy did in the first half, and we're up 10-6. to six. So Oregon got no points, and I'm pretty sure our defense got a turnover because look at the position we are in to possibly make this a two-possession game here. Going to be first and ten. I'm going to be rolling out in the zone. Look how fast I am. Oh, and I fumbled. I have fumbled. Oh, wow. Well, that was not good at all. So the good thing is Oregon did not score, not capitalize on my fumble. But I will say these, this game is definitely the hardest one I've played throughout the whole, all the high school games and the other college game. But we'll see what happens here. First and ten now. Hoping to get some points in this drive and eat out some clock. Gonna give it to Henry. Oh, look at the moves from Henry. And he'll get about seven. Gonna put my guy Walker in motion. Looking to hand this one off to Jewel. Jewel has some space. Kind of gets caught up by his old lineman. And that's why he only gets a couple. Okay, that last play did not look like a first down, but they did give it to Jewel, and we're going to hand it off to him once again with just actually the exact same play as last time and see how this goes, and it is better than the last play. Another first down keeps on going all the way up to the 50-yard line. First and 10 now to start this fourth quarter. Going to hand it off to my man, Henry, and that was not good at all. Second and 11 here. I'm going to look for something. Looking for my man, trying to fit it into white side, and we do get it in there. Third and eight now. It's a huge play here. We gotta capitalize on it. I don't see anyone, so I'm gonna escape, and we're gonna tuck and slide here, and that is how we do it. Definitely wanted to slide on that last play because of what happened earlier as we fumbled the first and ten here, looking to give it to my man Jewel, and Jewel gonna get some yardage. He has some space, and he's got another first down, moving the chains. Trying to keep on eating that clock while still trying to get that two possession lead on this drive, and it's going well so far. Let's finish this off. Jewel's gonna get a carry, and he's gonna get about five. Actually, make it seven. Second and three now. I'm gonna hand it off to Jewel once again to the other side this time. He's not gonna get the first down, though, that he only got two. Big third down play here to try to get this to move the sticks. I'm gonna look. I have my man wide open, Walker. He makes a juke, keeps on going. First down inside the five. Let's go. First and goal now. I'm gonna hand it off to my man Henry. Henry making people miss, and he's gone to the end zone. What a run by Henry, and that is his second touchdown for Clemson in this half, led by myself and the running backs. And we're about to make it a 17 to 6 game with just over two minutes to go. We have took control. And our defense, as our coach should say, is a defensive first team. They have stepped up once again, stopping the Oregon Ducks and it looks like we're gonna be walking out here with the victory as all we have to do is really just waste out the clock we're gonna be doing trying a jet sweep here and look at Simpson go as he trips up but that's okay so we wasted all of Oregon's timeouts time wasted the game and we're about to walk out of here with the victory as we have just won the national championship beating the Oregon Ducks 17 to 6 in just our junior year this is just one incredible scene you know our coach trusted us in the semis but he didn't trust us in the finals but then Tommy had an injury and we're back let's go we are champions our draft stock is trending up this is going really well the only concern is how is Tommy doing because this is bad with his heart that is a really bad concern but as far as I can tell right now, I just won a college national championship at the, my junior year. Well, Tommy's injury certainly was a setback. But the bond that these two kids had is really strong. And although only one of the heartbreak kids was out there in the second half, Tommy's spirit was with him, and I believe 
You here for Mr. Matthews? The hoodie gave it away. He's stable. But we're only allowing family to go back right now. <clears throat> That's great. Because he's my brother. Exactly. We care about Tommy. think that's something you should see it in person <laughs> oh man that's so cool uh, uh. Oh, thanks so much for coming i'm bringing this you kidding me i wouldn't miss this for anything coach and the guys sent their best they waited as long as they could but no one knew when you might wake up so they had to catch their flights back I told Coach I wasn't about to split up the heartbreak kids, so I stay behind. Make sure you're all right. Thanks, man. I'm just glad you're here. But hey, they did leave you the trophy. Wanted to make sure you had it when you woke up. How you feeling, buddy? Uh, like a sack of crap. That's funny, because that's exactly what I was going to say you look like. <laughs> Hey man, promise me one thing. Anything. That you'll come back next year and we can win the championship together. Of course, why next wouldn't year? I agree? You know I will, brother. Together. <clears throat> Doc said I shouldn't overdo it. She say what caused all this? Yeah. Something about the stress from my filthy roommate leaving his dishes lying around the apartment. She said if it weren't for that, I'd be the pinnacle of health. Please. <laughs> hey, seriously. You gotta start cleaning up after yourself. It's ridiculous. Really? Right now? Is that him? He's an hour early. Coach. You look too disappointed. No, no. I was just expecting Tommy. Come in. Care for a cupcake? No, thanks. So, you here for the party? No. Give me a minute. Okay, Coach. Actually, I'm, uh... We gotta talk to you about next season. Yeah, sure. Talk away. It was uh, it was something you said at the uh, at the start of the season earlier. It really stuck with me. It's something good, I hope. Well, it was something you said about treat your men like your beloved sons and. I'll follow you into the deepest valley. And that really got me. It got me thinking about the way I treat you boys, and, and I wasn't being fair to you, and Tommy for that matter, or the team. Wow, Coach, I really appreciate that. All that being said, I, I wanted to go into the offseason with everyone on the same page. I figured the best way that we could do that would be to announce a starter. What? Tommy's gonna be our starter. But how could you possibly make that decision after the title game? Exactly. Is Tommy even gonna be able to play? Yeah, I spoke with his doctor. Uh, valve replacement surgery was great. He's gonna be right as rain. I just don't understand. Yeah, I, I won the title. For you. It's, it's hard for you to process, and, and I hope you believe me when I say that I take no joy in making this decision. I stand firmly behind it because, frankly, Tommy's a better fit for the offense. Well, what does this mean for me? Well, it, uh, it means that you are at a monumental crossroads in your life and you've got two choices. You can enter the draft. Based on what you did last year, I'd say you'd be lucky to get picked in the third round. But realistically, you're looking at a 
late round selection, if at all. Jeez. Don't sugarcoat it for me. Well, I'm trying to be open and honest with you from this moment forward. I'm giving it to you as I would my own beloved son. My other choice? Well, the way I see it, you got too much raw athleticism to waste sitting on the bench. Exactly. You know, it's a true gift. And it's one that I'm going to give you the opportunity to show it to the world. And how's that? You get to pick a new position on offense. Get your heartbreak kids thing going back again. Well, well, well. We can leave for the draft or switch. And we're switching. Well... Tommy's already tried recruiting me to come back so we can win the title together. Does that mean you're in? Plus, he did switch positions once, and we see how well that worked out for him. Um, I guess I could try it too. The heartbreak kids are back, baby! <laughs> Was he eavesdropping? Yeah, always. <laughs> I'm not sure what's more strange, that interaction or the general cleanliness of this apartment. Okay. Well, well, well. Even though we led our team in the semifinal, and then we led our team to come back in the second half, and we won the national championship as just a junior in college, Tommy has been chosen to be the starter. And we get, we're given two options. One, we leave for the draft early as a quarterback, but that means we probably won't be selected until late in the draft. Or, we switch positions for our senior year in college and become the running back or receiver. And you guys know that we're switching positions. But either way, that is going to be it for episode number three. I hope you guys enjoyed. In the next episode, you'll figure out if we're switching to a running back or receiver. And you'll be seeing some game action in our senior year, our last season for college, as we get closer to the NFL, hopefully. But guys, that's going to be it. Subscribe if you like the content. Like the video if you liked it, because that is what it's for. I will be seeing you guys on that next video. Buh bye bye